so in today's video I'm gonna be doing a makeup routine and I'm basically just getting ready to be at home because I don't have school today since there was like a gas problem and there's no heat or anything so let's get into it so first I prime my face with Elf's hydrating um, primer and just put a few dots on my face and rub it in. I already cleaned and moisturized my face when I got out of the shower. But you always want to start with a clean base and moisturize your lips too. So when you do your lips, they're not dry in the pencil or whatever lipstick or lip gloss goes on your lips on a moisturized canvas. I have two foundations, 335 and 340. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to tell which one I am because one is a little bit more warm and one is just a little more cool I guess. So I just have to figure out which one is going to look best on my skin. Okay, so I'm going to start with my eyebrows first, actually. And I'm using this brown eye pencil by NK. And I like to do my eyebrows the color of my hair. So that's what I'm going to do. And I just outline them. And then once I get that perfect outline, I fill them in. And any mistakes I make, I'm just going to fix with concealer. Brows at first is something that does not come easy. So it does take a lot of practice. And it's okay if they're not perfect at first because... I completely understand the struggle because I initially could not do my eyebrows for the life of me like I would just just go like that on them brush them and that would be it and that's really all I knew how to do and I always wonder like how do people get their brows so good and I could never really figure it out until I just really put time into practicing and I would just do it every day until I could get it how I wanted it and then eventually I just got better and better at it and now people are like wow how do you do your brows you do them so good I'm like you gotta practice you gotta do it because if not good luck but yeah just practice makes perfect and that's just with anything this is the foundation on my hand I'm going to mix it together I'm gonna rub on my face. Yeah, I think this was a, a good idea to mix it. Cause it looks like it's my color. So I'm up here. On the regular, I typically do not wear this much makeup, even though this isn't that much, but this is more of a coverage look. I go for more of a natural kind of look. But I do like to wear more coverage makeup too though. Because it looks really cute. And it's completely done. I'm just going to brush it out. I like to use a brush to blend it all in. I know some people like to use their hands or like a sponge. But I think this works best for me. You got to make sure you get under the chin. over the nose because honestly my nose is like the lightest thing on my face which is really weird but it is I get in the forehead the edges you want to make sure everything 
gets covered and everything is blended so it doesn't look like not complete so once I finish blending this in I'm going to add more concealer in like the highlight spots I'll go back in with the same concealer by NYX and just apply it here For this look, I'm going to do more concealer than I normally use all around here, there, on my chin, and oh, oh my gosh, I have major butterfingers, like it's, it's absolutely insane, but I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and I'm going to add some contour to my face so I have this stick by Fenty Beauty and it's in truffle I really I love this like it works so good and you can do a lighter or darker like you can put a little bit or a lot and it progressively gets darker to your to your liking so then gotta do the chin over lip under lip and on your forehead Let's see And then I'm going to blend the highlight on the nose and then I'm going to put the contour on to make it like pop more. Add it in close to my eye and then I'm going to blend the rest with my brush. So I'm just going to pat this in. I kind of do have to hurry up because I have class in like 10 minutes. So, because our classes are virtual. Like, I literally haven't had school since last week, Wednesday. So... They're trying to like kind of wanting to try to do something instead of like not doing anything at all. But I've honestly been enjoying it because even though my house is really like five minutes away from my school, it's just been nice to not have to actually go to school and kind of just be at home being able to do whatever kind of sort of not really whatever still got to do work but it's just better to be at home and i'm gonna blend this out i'm gonna add a little bit more just to make it pop a little bit more The one thing I don't have is bronzer, and I definitely think I need to get some. I need to find a good brand. I'm going to contour my nose. And always bring it up to your eyebrows. That's one trick I've learned that makes the nose like really look snatched bringing it up through the eyebrows because it really just brings the nose in and then I just go on top and I blend it in some more blending is 
is really, 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 really important because it makes everything seem seamless. Because if you don't blend right, it's it's not gonna look as good if it's not fully blended. And then sometimes if it's not blending all the way to your liking, you can just spray the brush you're using with the little like fixer or um, setting spray. And I use the Max Fit. Let's see, can you see? It's Max Fit by Revolution and it works really good. So I like to use that. I needed more of a lighter concealer. So I'm using this HD Pro Conceal in the color. What color is this? Light yellow. It's like a corrector, but it works great as a lightener under the eyes. So I'm going to add a little here. And also a bit under my eyebrows just to lighten it up some more because it is not to my liking so I'm just gonna add a little bit under the eyebrows just to fix it up a bit lighten it a little more and then we should be good Blend this out a little bit. I'm gonna shape up my nose a little bit with this highlight. And then go back in the middle. sit for a second okay blend this out I'm feeling this looks a lot better than it did before just because it's brightened up a little bit more Okay, and I'm not going to do any eyeshadow because this is more of like a natural, I would say, beginner's look because all you need is foundation, concealer, and an eye pencil for the most part. And it's, it's really on a budget because the e.l.f. is like 10 at most, the Fit Me is about 10 at most. Everything is about 10, like five to ten dollars. So you don't have to spend too much money to have your makeup look good, which is kind of a big thing because you know, college students, high school students, you don't always have like the money to just be spending like 30, 40 dollars on one item of makeup. That would be nice to have like good quality makeup, but it doesn't always work like that. So having a budget of quality, well, having a lower budget, lower budget um, quality makeup is always good. I'm trying to get these lashes open and it's taking forever to open up. But I like to use the Eye Envy lashes because they give like lash extensions and they always look cute it's like they're natural but also they say lash extensions and you can't go wrong with these just because they're really cute and they have different types too like they have a j curl c curl different ones and i just get these from the beauty supply and they're like three four dollars okay so i'm about to put on the lashes and I'm about to use this liner. It's by Maybelline. This is the liner. It's not like the wet liner. It's like a pencil. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Let me hold my eye.
Oh my gosh. Be for real. <laughs> this is terrible, oh my gosh. Okay. That side is better, but I don't know what I did on this other side. Gonna kinda wipe that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That looks better. Chill. <laughs> this one is horrible. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. I'm taking it off because it does not look too well. And it's actually not really coming off. I'm trying to use my slow water to take it off. And, uh, it's not uh, coming off that, that well. But you know what? That's okay. Just gonna rock with it. And put the lashes on. Got my glue. It's duo clear glue. I put glue on my lash line and on the lash itself because it's like a double bond and it sticks on really good. This is what it looked like. Then I gotta put it on my lash line. And then I'm gonna put mascara. This is just Ruby Kiss from the Beauty Supply. Nothing special about this. But it works good enough. And by the time I do all that, Lash is ready to get put on. So I like to put it down in the middle. Okay. Then I grab the end. And then put the front down. And there we go. And I'm going to do the same with the other eye. I'm about to add a little blush. Even though it's lipstick. That's not important. Because he gets the job done. Blend this in. When you can't find your blush, don't worry. Red lipstick will get the job done. Every time. Every time. Let me wipe off my lips a little bit. time for the liner. I'm doing a natural, well, it's a liner lip, so no lipstick, but line it up. This is like my go-to because I don't really wear lipstick and I have to figure out what like shades of lipstick look good on me probably like a kind of like color maybe or right, just the color of my lips I'm assuming it would probably look cute but other than that I don't know what would be cute I'm gonna take this bomb 
gloss. And the baby doll. It's also by Ruby Kiss. I got this from the beauty supply too. And this works great. So let's put that in the middle of my lip. And then I get my gloss. And I'll just use my finger for this. And I'll rub it on. And that's the lips. And then I'm going to apply some setting powder. So I use the LA Pro powder. And this is like a it's a banana yellow and I bought one of these and I'm just going to press it in okay. on both sides. Press, 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 press. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm about to highlight my two, it's this palette here. I'm gonna use like more of the white color for under my brows. Mm-hmm. And now I'm going to use some gold for my cheeks. Give me that pop, that pop. And then I'm going to use the white also for my nose. I love this highlight palette. I don't always use it, but when I do, it just it just looks so 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 good. Ooh, y'all y'all see that? Come on now, y'all see that? Okay. So this is the finished look. I'm going to list everything I use down in the description. If y'all want more makeup, let me know. If y'all want a more in-depth eyebrow tutorial, lash tutorial, lip combo tutorial, anything. I could do whatever you want to see separate so it's easier to understand and then pull it, put it all together. Let me know how y'all feeling about it down in the um, comments and thanks for watching